behalf of myself and Life That's Inside, we are wishing you all a happy World Kindness Week. This week is especially special to me because five years ago, I started my connection platform, Date While You Wait. And the reason I started it was pretty much all around creating kindness, creating a space for people to connect in, I guess, in a way that they won't normally connect. Uh, so how it all came about was I was having a conversation with a friend. She was sharing with me how terrible her commute is in New York City, or her commute was in New York City. And something popped into my head and I was like, what can I do to combat that? What can I do to bring kindness to the subway? <laughs> so I went to the drawing board and I decided to create Date While You Wait. Um, so one day in, July, uh, in June, I set up a table, two chairs in the subway, and I started having conversations with people. I um, mean, the first day I ended up having like 19, 20 conversations and each conversation had a totally different dynamic to it, totally different feel to it, totally different vibe. People were sharing with me just what was happening with their day. There were people sharing with me, you know, things that were happening with, within maybe their relationships or their professional lives. And it showed me very quickly that connection is something that everyone wants. Everybody wants to connect. Everyone has a story. So creating a space for people to be able to share it was something that was very important to me. So as I continued to do it, I realized that it didn't matter who it was, didn't matter where you're from, um, it didn't matter what you've done in your life, you have a story. Uh, and, and that has been the overarching theme over the last five years. I've been uh, hanging out in the subway, having conversations. Um, and I'm very proud to say that I've met probably over six or 700 people in my time in the subway. And I, I'll talk to the person who is coming from work, but I also talk to, to people that are homeless. I've, I've sat down with homeless people and had conversations. And one thing about me, I'm, I'm, I find it to be really important for me to listen to people's stories and ask if it's okay for me to share my thoughts. And a lot of times when people sit down with me, they'll share something and they'll be like, you know, I'm I'm in a job I may not want to be in, or or I'm in a relationship I may not want to be in, and I try to encourage them to take whatever steps they need to be successful uh, moving forward. And I always use myself as the example, so I'm always like, "Hey, I'm the guy that sat in the subway. <laughs> if I can sit in the subway and connect with people, you can find your dream job. You know, you can move on from this relationship that you don't want to be in, um, or you can grow and have a deeper conversation with the person." Um, and you know, I'll share with you guys a, a, a couple of examples. So I remember that uh, my first day doing DIY, I met a gentleman vis visiting from Russia. He was here to visit his partner that he met online. They were having uh, great chemistry online, but they over five years, they never had a chance to connect. So he finally came to the U.S. to connect with them. When they met in person, they didn't have that same exact uh, energy and that same exact connection. So uh, the, the, the conversation and, and the relationship started in person, a little rocky. Uh, so first day he comes, he sits with me and he's sharing a story with me. And after we had our conversation, he says, he was actually on his way to the airport. So he stops and he says, I'm actually going to reschedule my flight and go back and try to have a different type of conversation based on our conversation that we just had right now. Um, and that was something I was, that was really like mind blowing to me, especially it being my first time connecting with people. Uh, and I don't know if it worked out. I hope it did, but those are the type of connections and those are the type of connections that I've been ma making, utilizing Date Why You Wait as this type of platform. Um, I'll share another story with you. Maybe, maybe two or three months later, I met an educator who was diagnosed with a disease that caused her body to constantly ache and be in pain. And she had to retire from teaching because, you know, she was in pain uh, in, in schools um, or while she was in school teaching. So uh, she's, you know, she's she's uh, walking past my table, took a second to sit down. Uh, when she sat down, she shared a story with me. And, you know, I just thanked her for taking a second to sit down. I thanked her for educating our youth. And right before she left, she said this was the first time since she's been diagnosed that she had an opportunity to not be in pain. She felt like she wasn't in pain sitting there talking to me. And that was something that like really blew my mind. It kind of made me emotional because when I started this project, it was just something to, to kind of connect with people. Just right? It was just, that's just what it was. It was just a connection platform. But as it's developed and as it's progressed and things 
happen throughout our city and throughout our world, I've had really unique interactions with people and I've created kind of new connection way, connection ways. So when I first started, it was just me sitting at a table. Then I introduced board games. Then I introduced puzzles. So there was one day I sat in a sub subway and we did, I sat in a subway for six hours and we completed a 500 piece puzzle. And when I say we, I mean like 60 people, like people were getting off the train, looking at what I was doing, taking a second and just putting a piece and going on with their day. And I probably had 60 or 70 people complete this puzzle. Um, I also do, you know, different things for like Mother's Day. So we give out Mother's Day cards. Um, every Mother's Day, I hand out Mother's Day cards to moms, just thanking them for being moms. Um, and each date while you wait, especially around holidays and all, pretty much each date while you wait has a theme of connection, right? And kindness and bringing people together. Um, so that's something that I'm, you know, I'm really, really proud of. Um, and in, in addition to that, you know, I, the question I always get is, how did you get started? Like, what was the idea behind it? Quite honestly, when I first was telling my friends about it, one, the person I shared it with, she was like, this is a bad idea. You shouldn't say this that way. People are going to think you're crazy. And to be honest, I didn't do it. I was like, I, I, you're absolutely right. People are probably going to think I'm crazy. But once I shared it with friends that really knew me, they were like, man, this is a great idea. You're the perfect person for it. Go ahead, let's do it. So if it wasn't for my friends and their encouragement, I, Day Why You Wait wouldn't, wouldn't probably exist, right? Probably wouldn't exist. Um, in addition to that, they took on taking taking photos for me. One of my friends did the signs. And my job was was the easy job to just connect with people. Um, so I'm very thankful for you know people that I have in my life and, and the circle that I had to push me to, to move forward with this. And because of it, I've traveled the world. You know, I've been in every major publication. And it's really led to, to opportunities opening up just because I put connection in the forefront. Um, so the reason I say all this is that if you have a project or something that you're passionate about, you don't, you don't have to have it all put together right away. It took me a while to get it to a point where it was something that I felt really comfortable doing. My first day, I'll never forget, I was soaked. I was sweating so much because I was so nervous. But now when I do it, it's just like second nature to me because I've been doing it for so long. So if you have something that you're you know, passionate about, you're interested in, give it a try. And if it doesn't work out the way you want it to work out, you fine tune it, you pivot, you create ways for you to do it better. Um, that's how I got to where I am with Day Wait. And I'm, I'm, I'm really proud with, of the work that I've been doing. And now, you know, it started out with me sitting in the subway and now it's transitioned to a TV series. So I'm currently working on Date Why You Wait TV series that are gonna gonna be on TV screens all around the world. So that means people in other cities, other countries are gonna have an opportunity to be inspired and an opportunity to hear transformational stories all about connection. And I would have never been able to do that if I didn't take that leap five years ago. So if you have something that you're interested in or you have a passion, you gotta go for it because only you know how it's gonna work out. And, you know, sometimes you have people who say, you know, that's a, that may be a dumb idea or I wouldn't do that if I were you. And they're absolutely right. They, they, they're not you. <laughs> so you have, it's important for you to give it a try, see how it works, and you'll never know what it turns into. It may, it may turn into something, but it may not. But you put your best foot forward, you gave it a try, and you built from there. So to me, that's what encouragement, that's what you know, empowering people, empowering yourself to do, like be encouraged, um, you know. Obviously, my shirt says empower because I, I really believe in that. So, um, so yeah. And, and in addition to that, being d developing what Date Why You Wait was from a connection platform to giving people a, a space to share their stories and passing on kindness to them in, in within that was exactly what my project and now TV series was and is all about. So I hope everyone is doing well. I wish you all the best in your journeys. Once again, happy World Kindness Week. And thank you for having me. I, I'm, I'm super excited to, to be a part of this.